And we are being briefed right now by the Edmond Police PIO. Let's join that in yeah, progress. Like information, priors, anything like that. Can you say if it's a male or female or anything? I don't have that right now. Uh, I believe it's a male, but we'll confirm everything soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. All right, that presser uh, briefing just wrapping up right now. Our Angelicia Bruton is out there right now. Uh, if she can hear me, perhaps she can brief us on what uh, that uh, Edmund PIO just said. Uh, we are, I guess, waiting to get Angelicia um, set up and ready for this live shot, and then we will get some opera, uh, get some more information about what we just heard. But we do know that that officer was taken to OU uh, Medical Center right there. That is OU. They are the only level one trauma unit in um, in the Oklahoma City. So that we do know that that is where that police officer was taken. Again, this is an Edmond police officer that was involved in a motorcycle accident. He was in a chase, we understand, crashed out and then uh, was in a bad accident. Uh, they loaded into an ambulance and then taken here to OU Med. Again, this is the scene out there near Boulevard and Smiling Hill. That whole, a large scene out there, a huge police presence. We witnessed Jim Gardner was live overhead as we saw that officer, what we believe was that officer loaded into an ambulance, as well as uh, another person we believe is the suspect was handcuffed and also taken to the ambulance. Again, we just joined that press briefing from the uh, PIO from the Edmond Police Department. Our Angelicia Bruton was there. Uh, she is get, gathering herself together. We're getting the technical. Okay, I'm, I'm told it will be a few minutes um, before we can get the information from Angelicia about exactly what happened. But again, this is the scene out here near South Boulevard and Smiling Hill Road where an Edmond police officer was badly injured. Uh, we'll keep it here on News 9 or News9.com and we'll bring you the latest information as soon as we have it.